Oh, hello guys. So what I have here is a Sony Xperia C4 Dual SIM. Uh, it was released last year, 2015. Not really sure which date it actually released. I'm no expert, uh, by the way. I'm no technical expert as well with mobile phones. So I'm just gonna give you a review from a user's perspective, okay? All right then. So uh, this phone, I actually originally I was supposed to buy the M4, which is a um, waterproof phone. But at that time there was no black color and only had a white one, and I didn't like white. So I took this phone instead, knowing that this was not waterproof. Yes, it's not waterproof. So I took it. I took this one instead of the uh, M4 because it has a lot of better better specs. Uh, what I did wrong was I did not took time to read the reviews from from other websites, for example, who so gives reviews about this phone. So I just bought it blindly then. Okay, it's not actually a bad phone. It's there are good things about this phone, and I will tell you what it is. What are those later on? Okay, so we'll start on the battery life. Um, this was originally advertised as having a big battery, so you're going to have a lot of you're supposed to be expecting that it will last a lot longer than the other phone, for example, M4. Unfortunately, with the normal battery mode, uh, I can only get like six or seven hours normal usage. That's, uh, I think, uh, that's even using LTE. Well, I haven't, I haven't tried doing or testing this phone without the internet because, uh, let's face it, I've been anyone who's been using a smartphone should always have an internet so that you can know what are the updates out there it defeats the purpose of having a smartphone without an internet so that's my opinion though okay so uh for normal use normal usage it lasts me around six to seven hours that's uh internet is always on browsing social media for example now that's not enough so the only option i found was putting the battery mode on stamina mode so what it does, uh, what it does actually is that in stamina mode, when your phone is off, or let's say your display, your display is off, all of your applications won't be receiving notifications. For example, in Facebook, you won't be able to receive any notifications or WhatsApp or Viber or whatnot. You won't be able to get any notification at all unless you turn on your display again. So, by making an exemption, you can add apps, you can add applications here, okay? Add applications you like, and then here, for example, I have email, Facebook, Gmail, the usual applications that you want to have notifications all the time. So, by putting those uh, exemptions, you will be able to get notifications even though it's in stamina mode. Thus, you get more out of the battery because it's only limiting on which applications you want okay then so um, after choosing yes yeah, you can see here I have 45% I don't know if you can see it yeah I got 45% I have 45% of battery life um, in stamina mode and it even says 11 hours but in reality 45% it's gonna I think it's gonna last around four more hours or five four and a half hours left in reality yeah that's it Okay. Uh, in full charge using stamina mode, it lasts around. Lucky enough, I can get 11 hours, but most of the times I'm getting 10 hours normal usage. Okay. Um, what else then? Yep. The Sony UI that came with the phone really did not uh, make sense because uh, the counter was not accurate, and some applications you're not even getting any counter notifications from other applications so it's very difficult so what I did was I downloaded this UI um, actually the name was uh, what was that name Nova so Nova is a great applicant it's a great UI so you try it the best what the best th the best thing about this Nova set Nova is it comes with a Tesla and read this Tesla and read uh, gives you counter notifications for each app uh, for major applications. I'm not saying all, but there are some applications 
that it's not able to make uh, calendar notifications, but most of the applications that we are commonly used to have, like for example, Facebook, I have a one notification here. Uh, Gmail, I'm getting Gmail, WhatsApp, Messenger, all of these applications, I'm getting not, I'm getting calendar notifications. Okay, then. now uh, going to the camera. The camera is 13 megapixels at the back side and then 5 megapixels in the front side with flash uh, okay the back camera let's talk about the back camera then every time you take a picture with perfect lighting or daylight with sunlight for example or as long as the environment with good lighting you get good pictures not perfect pictures but good pictures okay now if you're taking pictures with low lighting the tendency is the pictures will become blurry yep it's pixelated as well so uh, as long as you use it on uh, perfect lighting it's fine it's a good phone let me give you a picture here let me see what I can find one with perfect pic with the good picture Okay, for example here uh, I don't know if you can see it this is taken during the afternoon at work okay okay, okay. so as you can see the pictures are fine Let's see, yep. Let's see if you can see that yeah those are Arabic lightings by the way yeah, let's see and this not really this phone the camera doesn't come with auto stabilizer so small move while you're taking picture is gonna make your picture blurry so let me try to find some picture here that yeah here so here stood perfectly still took the picture and voila i was able to make those letters readable i can't read it because it's in arabic so uh yeah as long as i can take a picture of it which is readable right so yeah during daytime it's fine I try to find a picture here during night time. Okay, this is one example of a nighttime picture. As you can see, the more I zoom in, picture becomes like pixelated. It's like taking a picture with a VGA camera. Okay, I don't know if you can see it there, but yeah, that's how it looks like. All right, five the five megapixels uh, camera front picture front camera it gives a very very what do you call this the flash was too much that it only can focus on the face and not on the background let me show you one okay so okay so this is the background here that's my wife then by the way okay let me do so basically uh, yeah, if you take the selfie selfie camera, front camera, during nighttime, then mo most of the time that you, it will be only showing your face and not the background. Okay, so yeah, basically that's it. Uh, would I recommend the phone? Uh, if you're a tight budget, this phone is fine. Uh, in my in my case, I kind of like the phone because uh, it's not heavy. That's one thing. And it's a big screen enough for me to see all my emails and browse websites or browse Facebook for example it's good enough no uh, one thing you want to make sure to buy after getting this phone is get yourself some cover because first time I okay it's the uh, amber just coming out came out let me put it back okay now that's fine okay with this if you're holding it it's a tendency that you can drop the phone so because it's so it's so thin and I don't know how to explain this feeling when I'm moving around with this back over that yeah so there will be a there's a tendency that you might actually slip the, the phone might slip from your hand so it's a lot better to have another cover yeah which will make the phone a bit uh, thicker and then get yourself some um, screen protectors like what I have here is a tempered glass so it will protect your screen 
the screen isn't Gorilla Glass or what other glass you have there, it's it's going to scratch. So better get yourself a screen protector, a tempered glass protector, and a back cover, and you'll be good. Okay, thank you.